All right, everybody, sorry for the delay. We're back. Didn't mean to lose you there. I'm gonna have to work at getting you back, it looks like. Sorry for ending that stream. Um, let's go ahead and move up into front of the museum and see if there's anything going on there. How are you holding up? Good. Okay, good. No. All right. Let's go this way. Oh, sorry. Maybe it's the side. Sorry, sorry. Here we go. That's okay. Beautiful young lady. Now you can just go up here. Oh, subway here, huh? That's, that's a cool-looking subway station, actually. We're here at Battery Park here in New York City, all the way down by the waterfront. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, had to, I was down. I had to find somebody's... Uh, Twitter handle so we can contact them. How you doing? See, I, I pride myself on being able to connect with people on a person-to-person -person level. Always like to see the bicycle riders out there, of course. How you guys doing? Ah, the I Love New, New York t-shirt guy. Ooh, let's stop here for a second. Ooh, ooh, do I want to, do I want an NYPD cap? I don't know. I really don't want anything of the police department on it. Let's just go back over here. I almost want one, but not bad enough. All right, Occupy. Another anarchist. We love seeing that circle leg. Got a nice crowd of people over here. They're in front of the American Indian Museum. Uh, we're here by Battery Park here in Lower Manhattan. Glad to have you along to watch. Uh, if you'd like to uh, participate uh, in chat, uh, please be logged on with Facebook, Twitter, or Ustream. And click on the social stream and chat with me and let me know how everything's going and if my stream looks nice and whatnot. We're out here for you, uh, the viewer. Uh, we're gonna provide you with as much coverage of Wall Street. When my batteries die, my pal uh, Ben will have his camera out. He'll be live streaming on his channel. And we will be providing you with the URL so you can uh, follow us on the other, other stream when we get started. So I have about three more hours left on this battery, so I'll be out here. And uh, you ready to cross? There we go. We got our fine New York police officers not directing traffic for us. Sorry. Yeah, my goal here is not to impede other pedestrians, that's for sure. But you know, you think that they thought about disabled people when they put that crap in, right? Not. Nah, let's go around a little bit. All right. How you doing there, little, little group?
Participating with Occupy Pittsburgh? Uh, yeah, it's a little chaotic there, but there's hope. So you've been uh, been doing a lot of traveling and stuff? Yeah, I uh, went to uh, National Gathering in Philly, Detroit. Uh, I was in Harrisburg, the capital of the year for a while. Uh, All right, and your name is? Anthony. Evan? Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, I'm sorry. My name's Clark. Clark. Nice right, this is my pal Zen. Right, I'm, I'm visiting from San Francisco. San Francisco. I want to go there. I want to go to the Bay Area. Yeah, well, we have a lot of... Actually, our, our Occupy is, like, split. But it's like there's more going on now than there was when we had a central camp. Yeah. And we've actually, like, the decentralization of our Occupy is actually... It's actually it, good. It's helped out. Yeah, yeah. 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 And we're doing a lot of actions in San Francisco today in conjunction with this as well. Yeah. In Oakland too. Yeah, okay. So, thanks for talking with me there, Anthony. No, no problem. Take care. Have a good one. You too. Enjoy. All right, let's keep an eye on what's going on here. Let's try to like go back here to the edge. Trying to stay unarrested here, folks, so I can keep bringing you coverage. Pardon me, pardon me. Well, we can go through this spot right here. It's good. How you doing, officers? Right. I don't know what it is about New York cops. They always got to stand around with the top. That false machismo. Right, let's keep an eye on these riot cops. Well, that's okay. Let's keep an eye on these riot cops behind us. Yeah. In case they decide they want to move in. Yeah, this looks good right here. <laughs> They're pretty much, excuse me. Let's move in a little closer. Let's move in a little closer. Let's move in a little closer. Excuse us. Pardon us. Coming through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. I just want to get closer to these cops. Make sure that we got coverage in case they decide they want to move in. Good luck, Wall Street, without you. Make sure we get pictures of undercover cops. All right? This is what your tax dollars go to pay for, people. Army of the one percent. Out here defending the interests, they're seeking to destroy the police department. Lots of police departments around the country can't hire officers. They can't meet their budget because the largest corporations in their areas are not paying their taxes. So, you know, the police department, you know, they can laugh all they want about beating up Occupy protesters, but the reason we're here is partially for them, because we don't want to see their pensions getting taken away. We want to keep the officers in our streets to protect us from crime. The reason they want to beat us up is they got small factories. No, I don't want to get it. It's not a good idea to insult. It's for people, too, who deserve respect. Right? But... You know, it's like police departments are getting cut, their salaries are getting cut, police departments around the country, because the largest corporations do not want to pay their fair share in taxes. And if they paid their fair share in taxes, well then we would have good crime prevention on the street. Maybe these police officers would see that we're trying to help them out as well. So, they have an eight hour day, they have 
They can't work over 40 hours a week to get overtime. They have health benefits. And this is something that was won with the union movement here in the United States. So we're out here for the police department too, believe it or not, even though they're our oppressors. So hopefully they'll understand that. We're out here for their children, their children's children, and your children's children's children. And that's how far the debt goes in this country. That a baby that is born in the United States owes $2,000 by the time they're born. And these officers have children too. So we're out here defending their children and their rights too. Even though they want to take away our rights. So, a little common sense on the situation here. I'm not a, a fan of the police department by any stretch of the imagination, but they are human beings and they deserve to be treated like human beings. And rather than being angry, and saying, I hate the police, whatever, but treat you with love and respect just like we would treat anybody else. And maybe some of my compassion will rub off on you guys. I know there's a lot of officers that like to tweet and text. I'm wondering if I'd like to have some of those Twitter handles, follow some of these police officers on their Twitter accounts, see what they have to say. I'm not a hater of police, but I don't think yelling at them is going to do any good. Being mean, being angry, that's no way to reach people that are your enemies. Best way to do that is by showing love and compassion rather than hatred and threats. We're rather out here, we're out here. The message is not about the police department. The message is about the Wall Street banks that are taking over our country. They're robbing us blind. They stole $16 trillion from the American public last year through the Federal Reserve Bank. Uh, mention that. Also, uh, we're out here, we like to see our corporations pay their fair share of taxes because corporate welfare cannot be sustained in American society. So, that's why we're out here. We're not out here because of police. So. Side here. How you doing? There we go. Well, on Wall Street, Wall Street Stream, a Confederacy of Corporate Kingdoms. I would say that we do live in a neo feudalist society. Uh, funny how we move backwards. It's Fox News lies. Since when is ignorance a point of view? Great, great banner. Thanks a lot for being here. Thanks for being patient. Excuse me, I'm sorry. No problem. How y'all doing today? Good. How you doing? I'm doing. Uh, I'm sleep deprived, but I'm doing pretty well. Oh, we all are. Yeah. Wow. So you guys are living in New York? No, well, I'm from Boston. Boston? Long Island. Long Island. Okay. Philly? Oh, I'm from. Uh, I'm from San Francisco. Okay. Yeah. I've been waiting a whole year to come out here. Me too. Me too. Right. Well, I had a pretty severe injury. Okay. I shattered my. Yeah, I'm fine now. I mean, I can walk a little bit. Uh, I shattered my uh, tibula and my tibula. Uh, well, I had. Uh, they discovered I had uh, leukemia, and it was in remission when they discovered it. And uh, um, and they uh, pretty much credited to my use of medical cannabis. Everywhere. 
right? Because we're in California, and uh, it's ever since anywhere in California, you can smoke medical marijuana any place where they allow cigarettes. And people in California don't have they don't have the weird attitude about marijuana that they, that you'll find in other places. And like most people, but no, no, and then, well, it's the federal government. Yeah. Right. That's the difference, yeah. right? In San Francisco. Wait until after the election and we'll see what Obama does, right? Well, I believe there's going to be a war in Iran. Like as soon as he gets really threatened. Well, we've already got right. killer sanctions bill and I'm more worried about the Soviet and Syria. That could too. never happen. Oh. <laughs> right. You watch, right after the election, Israel will move right in. Right, because Israel wants, Israel wants to bomb right now, but uh, Obama said no. He wouldn't meet with the uh, Israeli prime minister. Right, no, because he met with Netanyahu, didn't he? no, okay. no, he, he refused to make a meet with him. He met with him about three months ago. Three months ago, but they keep pushing for war, and he's like, he doesn't want to split the party, the Democrats, right? So he's going to hold off until after election day. That's my my thing. I do have a little bit of inside he's open, information. He's going to open up a whole can of whoop ass if he does that. Yeah, why well, about? That's according to inside information that I have, right? So, definitely after the election. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of thought maybe that's what was going on. But well, they have to have a war, right? They got to support the, you know, they got to build up the economy again, right? The only problem is, is that the Iraqi war threw us into recession after it was over, right? I mean, the only, the, from what I hear, is the only war that uh, a country went to war and did not raise taxes. Instead, we did, not only did not raise taxes, we lowered taxes. First time in the history of the world. Is there a new political presidents? I wonder how our friends in blue, what are they doing back there? They're just thinking standing there. I kind of, I don't like to have right my... Right there, ready to assist you. Right. I don't like having my back to the police at all, ever. Right. Not the blue really. ones so much, it's the white ones. Yeah, yeah, well, they're command staff. Yeah, you're very stealthy. Oh, Oh yeah, here we go. Cut off. <laughs> All our wonderful officers standing here ready to protect our rights, our First Amendment rights, even when it, it is against their best interests, right? Because we support their pensions, we support their jobs, we pay their salaries, and yet they're still out here trying to take away our First Amendment rights to free speech and protect the banksters. The very people that are picking their pockets too. So go figure. It's nice talking to you. Likewise. What's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Cranston. My name's Clark Sullivan. Nice to meet you. Clark Sullivan. Nice to meet you. All right, all the way from San Fran. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up in uh, L.A. Okay. Yeah. That's L.A.'s all right. Yeah, I know. That's right. We have that rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't even looked at the. Uh, I've been so busy, I haven't even looked at the football scores or the baseball yeah. or anything, right? I haven't had time. You know, I know the 49ers were on TV last night, right? They were in the national game. I don't know. Oh. I haven't even had a chance to look. I've been so they're gonna, busy. They're going to play here in a couple of weeks. We're yeah, well, that'll be a good game. Yeah. I love my Niners, but it's only football, yeah. right? This is a real deal right here, right? This is real. Not, you know, football is just a game, you know? It's kind of a game too. Well, yeah, yeah, no shit. political. Yeah, life's a game. You just gotta, you just gotta play it. That's all. You gotta play your part. Yeah, well, I, that's what I do. You know, like, like a lot of people, I, I get mad because a lot of people are on that Facebook crap, those crappy games on Facebook all the time. Oh yeah. And, like right. they're always trying to Welcome invite to me. New York! Oh, New York! Right. Alright. So, uh, Sorry, so they're playing, that's okay. They're playing these crappy games. And they're always inviting me to play, right? And I'm like, I tell people, don't invite me to these games because I play the game of real life in reality, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. infinitely better than any chess game or any of the other games, right? Yeah. So. Other building cities and trading and. Right, yeah, it's not in reality, right? Like, uh, come on. Right. We got. I'm more for building you, you freedom. You can actually do that, you know, you can play the game of life, for real. <laughs> I 
have a good day. You too. I will. I'm out here for other people's safety more than mine. Thank you. Smell something burning. How you doing? Good. A little tired, stuck you. Yeah, me too. I haven't. I didn't sleep. Uh -huh. I didn't sleep either. Uh, yeah, I, I slept about four or five hours. But the day before, I didn't sleep for uh, 48 straight. Yeah, I was there. I, I had to take uh, yesterday off for most of the day. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I'm dedicated. Yeah. I'm not yeah. giving up. Yeah, yeah. Right? they got to drag me away in chains before I'm going to give up. And even then, I won't give up. I hear stories about activists over in other countries being tortured, being imprisoned, and they didn't give up. Yeah. Right? Some of them won. Some of them died, were killed, martyred. You know what? I'm thinking there's that. Yeah. Um, we could probably, there's coffee or something like right, right around here somewhere. Let's go. Check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, take care. All right. Have a good day, officers. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got some act up, act up people out here. Stand up, fight back. I was with the. Uh, I did a thing in San Francisco back in 1985 called the Arcades Vigil in uh, in. Uh, UN Plaza in downtown San Francisco. It lasted nine years. Uh, when I started doing it, I was with like two other people. And uh, at that time, we had at least 30 people I can think of that came to our encampment. That was like, that was an Occupy. We didn't call it that, we called it the vigil. But so many people would come there to die. And so I, I like, this was back. This was back in the bad old days when there wasn't any antiviral medications or anything like that. So when you got AIDS, it was a death sentence. And so many people in my generation died. I mean, it was like, when a week would go by that I wouldn't know somebody that died. And uh, so thanks for being out here. I know that we were out here, uh, we were out there in the 80s fighting for people. And we actually, what was really nice about it was that uh, the mayor at the time was Feinstein. She came out and, and like told us that she supported us 100%. And uh, within a year, within about a year and a half, we had won full federal benefits for people with AIDS. Unfortunate thing is now I've been talking to people that are that are uh, that are HIV positive, and they're not able to collect on Social Security anymore because the government says that they're able to work even when they're not. So maybe it might be time to reestablish that Park AIDS vigil at UN Plaza again. You know, an act of San Fran like has been really active since the 25th anniversary. I know a few people in the group. Um, this would be a good time to do it. I think everyone's sort of having a rebirth or a revival of sorts since this Occupy thing, um, which is beautiful, especially for the AIDS movement, which really got complacent um, ever since antiretrovirals came about and people stopped dying, and there was less anger and fear. Um, but I think we should hold on to our anger and fear because um, what kind of a quality is life is taking medication every day for the rest of your life and not I receiving agree. adequate treatment. And what's your name? Michael. Michael, my name's Clark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And your name is? Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. I'm coming out. Yeah, I told you I'm from San Francisco. You guys live in New York? I do. All right. Billy. Billy, okay, great. Great. All right. Thanks for talking with me. Of course. I'm going to go mingle around and get some more interviews and talk to more people. So we can let everybody in the world know about what's going on here. Right. Take care. She said there's a moving blockade. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, Priya, how are you doing there? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I think of the corporate media, so take on things. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, it's a load of crap. Yeah. I don't believe it. What is that? Is that like a. No, it's a corporate paper. Okay. Is that like the Village Voice? A little bit like the Village Voice? The Village Voice is a little bit more investigative. Yeah. They're corporate too, though. They are, yeah.
Right. Usually you get a good reporter doing something worthy, but a lot of times it's uh, just some shallow crap. So, but mostly about selling products, you know. Okay. You got the, hey, did you happen to, the helicopters here? Yeah, yeah. Did you happen to bring your phone with you? I, I have it. I mean, I can't do it. I mean, I have to put the SIM card in it to, you know. Did, I, you, I get the, did you get the app to install? Well, I wasn't able to uh, get online to do that, but I, I don't think that would be that hard if I had a steady Wi-Fi connection. No, we don't need to get online to get, I mean, you, like, you're already online with your, your phone connection, and you should be able to download the app from the Play Store. You know the okay. Android. Like oh, don't go to. Right. Yeah. Or you have an iPhone. Go to the. Uh, go to the I iOS store. Right. Oh, is it iTunes? Yeah. No, not iTunes. iOS store. Oh, I never right. heard of that. Is that App free? Yeah, it's free. Wow, iOS store. That's where they sell all the all the Mac apps. Well, I'm a tech tech nerd. I'm a nerd, right? So. Well, yeah, they want you to use the app because uh, when you go into Ustream, they sell a bit of advertising to go along with your, with your stream, and that's how they pay for things. All right, we're going to go try to buy a cup of coffee. Yeah, actually, I, I, I need one. I haven't had one. You want to come with us? Yeah, I rushed out of my house. I got it. It was me and all this marching. I'm a little tired. It's going to be a long day, and I've already been, like, brutalized, so I think a little coffee. All right. Uh, Alright, well I guess we we'll have to go with the march. No coffee for you. Uh, no donut. <laughs> Bad girl, no donut. That was funny, wasn't it? Did you see that? That was very cool. No, they're not moving just yet. Maybe they are moving. No, they're not moving. I don't know if we go anyway. Well, we're supposed to end up at Foley Square by 3. Oh, so I think we're making our point really well, though. Really well. A very powerful uh, this is a very powerful demonstration. Really? Why do you say that? Well, just by the people that are here and the enthusiasm. The fact that people came from all over the country to come here, yeah. right? So that's important. Well, there's at least a, when, I, when it started out this morning, I, I, I would imagine there was at least a couple thousand people. Wow. Yeah, around seven. Because this is all split up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I want a cup of coffee. I don't oh, see one over there. Alright. I just don't see any places where we can get any coffee. Oh, yeah, you can go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Come on, Brianna, if you want to come. Occupy. Pardon us. Watch your toes. Thank you. All right, everybody, watch your toes, please. Wouldn't want to run those over. I'd feel really bad if I did something like that. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Oh, yeah, I like your shirt, dude. Oh, thank you. Oh, I just want to get out of that sun. There you go. How's everybody doing? 
Thank you, National Lawyers Guild. Now I don't see any places. Where's Starbucks? Let's go to Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks. I see one. Ready? Yeah, yeah let's put it across the Hey, officer, what's doing? Have a good day, sir. Nah, we're not blocked. We can go with the. We can go with Let's just go in the middle of the. Nah, we can cross the street. What are you talking about? Occupy Starbucks? Yeah. Let's occupy a cup of coffee. It wasn't for them, Greg. And then they would have had a video conference in 2000. Okay. All right, folks, we're going to go get a cup of coffee here in just a second. So bear with us, and then we'll be right back to coverage of uh, Occupy Wall Street. Thanks for watching, by the way. If you'd like to contact me, at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. Um, and you can also reach me at freemansullivan at gmail.com. And uh, I'll be happy to respond to any of your requests or anything like that or whatever. All right, I guess we got a little dogs out here. But for what I don't know. Hey, puppy. Thank you. Time for a Starbucks run. How are your officers doing today? No, we can't have anybody can't have anybody disrupting business, can we? How are you doing today, sir? Not bad. All right, let's go into this corporate hellhole, get some coffee. All right. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh. All right, we're going to take a short break for all your viewers, uh, and we're going to get a cup of coffee and maybe something to snack on. So uh, here, let me get inside here so everybody can get in. And I'll be right back. Just give me about five minutes, and uh, let me get a cup of coffee. This is Freeman Sullivan signing off for the moment, but I'll be right back.